everyone and welcome to April Favourites. Hope you're well. Welcome to my channel if you're new. My name's Shaz aka Blonde Tea Party. This is my um, YouTube channel. Subscribe so you never miss a video. You can follow me on Instagram, my Facebook page and I also have a blog and I'll link that below. Just nice to share because sometimes people don't know who you are. Hence the introduction. So very nice to meet you, welcome. So favorites is one of my favorite things to watch. I love to know what people have been using continuously that month that it's become a favorite. So let's begin. I'm gonna start off with some skincare. Now I, I mentioned this before I think, I got a sample of um, the Paula's Choice. This is the Resist Ultra Light Super Antioxidant concentrate and I have been dying to try Paula's Choice and there's this website called Skin City which has got all the top skincare brands that some pharmaceutical grade um, all like skin surgicals top brands that you don't really get in the shop and they had Paula's Choice but what's even better is that they do little sample sizes so you can try the products first which is really important to me because it's no point spending money on a full-size product you get it home and you're like this isn't working for me and in the UK it's very hard to return things once you've opened them use them so I try I really was looking for a anti-aging serum antioxidant serum to replace my SkinCeuticals um, Floritin CF so I tried this and I like this because it's she keeps in mind people with oily acne prone skin and this is ultra light um, so it's specifically formulated for problem skin and anything too thick and my pores are clogged I love this I'm going to purchase the full size of it because it is so fluid but hydrating at the same time there's nothing worse than like washing your face in the morning putting on a serum and you're already dry that's like no this spreads really nicely on the skin it gives a nice sort of glowy feel not glowy feel glowy look but it's got a sort of it's kind of tacky to touch but then it sinks in and it's and it's dried but you're still moisturized makes your moisturizer go on really well and I just I think it's just a really excellent serum so I'm really really loving that Next up, I've got a moisturiser. This is Olay Regenerous 3 Point Day Cream SPF 30. I've had this before a couple of years ago and I love this. I recently picked it up again. It was on sale. It's normally about £30 and I think it was about £18 in Superdrug. And I thought, oh my God, you know when you just want a basic moisturiser that's got an SPF, that's not too much, that's not too expensive, you don't feel like you're going to waste it. This stuff for oily acne skin is incredible. It's so fresh. It hasn't got that sunscreen smell. It's just a fresh scent. It's, oh, it's so lightweight. It's just the most perfect, so let me show you here. It's just, it just goes into the skin beautifully. Oh, I love the smell of it. It just smells of clean. I, this is one of, the, one of the only sunscreens that I can take down my neck and chest because otherwise I break out. Everything makes me break out, my chest or my neck. And this was one of the only sunscreens that I swear to God, my skin cleared up on my chest. And I need something to take all the way down. And you know when you've got your expensive SPF 50 or whatever that you bought from a bargey and you're like, I don't want to waste it down my whole body. This, amazing, great, everyday, beautiful under makeup. I, I just... Sometimes you can find little gems in the drugstore and this is one of them. It just leaves skin so moisturised but not feeling heavy and not greasy. Beautiful. Love that. Oh, I'm mixing it all up here. Next up I have a face wash. I keep it upside down because it just leaks out of the bottle otherwise. This is the Skin Surgicals Blemish and Age Gel Cleanser. I really, really love this. I got this because, you know, I get uh, um, blemishes, acne breakouts and stuff like that. And it's all very well using sensitive face washes, but I wasn't using anything that was for blemishes. And I was like, I need something for spots right now. 
and age. And then I saw this and I love SkinCeuticals, so I kind of trust the brand. And I've wanted to try this before. And this is a decongesting cleanser with lipohydroxy acid. It exfoliates and improves clarity. So it's not got any um, scrubby bits in, it's just a clear gel, but it's got the good ingredients in that are gonna uh, get through the blemishes. And it also helps with a bit of exfoliation as well. I I really love this because it just, you it feels like it's doing something, you know? You know when you wash your face, you wanna feel like it's doing something. So I use this every morning and every night after my first cleanse, I use this. Um, I just, put, oh my God. I just put a small amount and it foams up really nicely and I leave it on the skin for a little bit and then I rinse it off and it just, it just kind of leaves skin smooth. Again, it doesn't leave skin tight. It doesn't leave skin, um, you know, dry. It's just an excellent, excellent cleanser. I really, really rate that. So I needed an exfoliator. Like I've been desperate to exfoliate my face. Now I use hot cloth cleansers, so I use a muslin cloth and stuff like that. And I use sort of, you know, you get those little soft exfoliators, but I need a real scrub. And my favourite was the Abaji, um, was it Oclips? Essential something or other, it was the scrub in the blue pot. And it's and that scrub is like sandpaper, and I love that. I've got really thick, oily skin, and I need to feel scrubbed. Do you know what I mean? I can't use Namby Pamby Jehova beads, um, which by the way, you shouldn't use anything that's got those in them anyway because they don't disintegrate and they end up floating in the ocean and killing our animals. Not good. So <laughs> I thought, all right, I'm going to pick whatever up in boots. And I've heard a lot about Nip and Fab. And I just saw this. Again, it was half price. So I thought, well, why not try it? It says it's a glycolic scrub fix, exfoliant glycolic fix, triple action facial polish. Now, when I see the word polish, I'm like, this has got to be what I want. I, I hope this is what it, what it is, right? Oh my God. For a drugstore product, this is insane. This is comparable to the Obagi. It's the same texture. It's like, let's see, I can show you here. I don't like wasting my products in any way, shape or form <laughs> for demonstration purposes. But look, so it comes out white and it is, you won't see it, but it's, it's literally like grainy, little, little grains like sand. And that is what I love. This is what's going to polish your skin to perfection. After I've cleansed, I just put a pea sized amount of this and you, and the other thing I love about these kind of scrubs, you don't need to even scrub. They're so finely packed that you just use your fingertips to exfoliate, to polish, to literally what it says, to polish the skin. It's, for me, if you've got oily skin, that satisfaction of a really grainy scrub. Oh my God, I was like, oh my God, this is bliss. And then rinsing it off, skin is so smooth. I can't believe it. I was like, oh, I'm probably not gonna like this, but I need to scrub my face right now, right now, I've got to. So I'm just gonna pick this up. And I can't believe, I mean, I am, it's it's good, it's very good. It's exactly what I freaking was looking for. Um, and this you used uh, twice a week. It's got, it's three in one microfolience with glycolic salicy salicylic acids to refine, brighten and renew. Gently exfoliates and retextures. When I saw the word retexture, I'm like, retexture me, I want it. Um, yes, this is, this is, yeah. I love my Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Again, it's pricey, I haven't repurchased it yet. And it's an everyday one and I wanted to really, I, I wanted to, I want to feel smooth when I wash, when I rinse off, do you know what I mean? I, there's nothing worse than using a Namby Pamby scrub. You rinse off and you're like, okay, I've, I've still got bits on my face, like, no. So this is absolutely, oh my gosh, I'm very happy with it. Are we recording? Let's just double check. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, next up, so that was skincare. Um, makeup, okay, so, you know, I went for my Bare Minerals uh, makeup makeover, and with that, I was given, I was gifted the Gen Nude Copper Eyeshadow Palette. It's what I've got on my eyes today. Freaking love it. 
Freaking love it. I thought I wouldn't be able to put down my Naked um, Basics, but this, I mean, unbelievable. My favourite, favourite shades is this one here, Gypsy, this light shade. When it goes on the eyes, it's like a brightening, it's like a lemony shade and it brightens the eyes. So I've got that on my lid. Then in the crease, I've got Truth, which is this purple shade. And for a liner, I'm using that darker shade. And then on the top of the lid, I've got this goldy, goldy shade Aura. So it just gives that kind of bit of pop of glitter. Beautiful, oh, beautiful sh shadows. They are so creamy. Love them. I love the compact as well. I love the little mirror. It just makes things so easy. So absolutely love that. Then the other thing I'm obsessed with that I was also gifted by Bare Minerals is the um, Gen Nude Lip. And this, the, these are the new Bare Pro. It's what I've got on now. Freaking love this. It is just... What I, do you know what I love about these? Okay, first of all, that's the colour. It's a very me colour. First of all, I love the packaging. I love the little bullet, but I've got small, a small mouth, you know? I don't need a big lipstick to go around. This is really good for getting all the edges. It stays put all day. I never have to reapply. It doesn't come off on burgers and whatever you're eating. It's amazing. Now, a lot of people have asked what's the best liner to pair with this and I found the perfect liner. I've got it on today. It's MAC Saw. And it's just, if not identical, look at that. So these two together are all I've been wearing non-stop, like non-stop. I, I cannot wear anything else right now. This is it, this is it, I can't. <laughs> it's just like, oh no. And even also what's nice with this lip, you can put a light lip gloss on top if you wanna brighten it up. It's perfect. This is in the shade Petal by the way, in case I didn't mention that. Okay, next eyebrows. So I've kind of put down the stencil, step away from the eyebrow stencil and kind of wanted to keep my eyebrows just a little bit softer and a little bit lighter. So I've been revisiting my Bobbi Brown um, uh, eyebrow definer pencil in the shade Taupe, which is what I've got on now. And it just gives, I think it's perfect if you're blonde. Um, it just gives that sort of, I don't want my brows to be harsh, but I need them warmed up. I don't like them to be cold and cold and dark. I like them a little bit warmed up. They need to be filled in, but I like them to look a little bit natural and fluffier during the day. So that's that's the shade there. Where is it? Taupe. Amazing for blondes, right? And I, what I've learned with this is you've just got to be really gentle with it and just go in with some gentle strokes. Take it easy. The more you kind of, the gentler you are, the more product it deposits. I found if I was going in too hard, it just wasn't working. I just like the softness it actually brings to my brows. So I've really been enjoying this, really, really been enjoying this. I never thought I would ever say that about an eyebrow pencil, but there you go. Next, I've got a shower gel. This is Yes to Blueberries. It's an organic, 95% organic shower gel. Um, it's ultra hydrating body wash. I actually found out about this from Poofy Pedge. I'll link her Instagram below. She does lots, she does amazing little beauty posts on her Instagram. She mentioned this, and this is one of her favorite shower gels, but Poundland was selling it for a pound. This in boots is five to seven pounds, okay? A pound this was. And I thought, you know what? I trust her opinion. I'm not even gonna try it. And I went and stockpiled like 10 of them because we go through shower gels like nobody's business and it drives me nuts, right? I thought, nice big packaging, a pound, I'm having them. I took them all off the shelf. So yes, it's really, really nice, especially if you've got sensitive skin um, and you can get a bit irritated, especially in the winter. This is beautiful. It's not highly scented. It's just a light scent. Um, it's got blueberries, shea butter to help moisturise and soften skin. Lovely. Like, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Then I've got a hand cream. This is, oh my God, me and hand creams, okay. I have tried many hand creams, right? Many. They just kind of cream your hand, right? 
very rarely do they reach the nail. Now, first, let's talk about it. This is the Rituals, Ritual of Sakura, Soothing Hand Balm, Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk. This is stunning. Not only does it smell fantastic, but this does everything I want from a hand cream, okay? And that is, once you've, moist, once you've put it on the skin, it kind of turns into an oil and it hydrates your cuticles. That is the sign of a good hand cream for me. It's no point you put a hand cream on, it creams your hands, but you've still got dry cuticles. This, it just, it just transforms into an oil. I can't describe it. And look at my cuticles. And that's just from hand cream. It is, and it smells gorgeous. I got this in my Look Fantastic um, monthly subscription box, which that's a whole nother story. I've canceled it. Oh my God. I accidentally, when I, I first purchased one because I wanted the hand cream and it said it hadn't gone through. So I purchased it again. It went through. I ended up with two subscriptions to the bloody box, paid twice, so I paid 30 quid. And guess what? I can't get my money back and I can't return the box. I'm sorry, what? I, I, I emailed them and they're like, I'm sorry, you can't return it. Why? Well, you've canceled the second subscription. I'm like, yeah, I know I've canceled the second subscription now, but I've got the second box and you've charged me twice. Can I have my money back and send you the box that I don't need? No, sorry, we can't do that. I said, well, do you know what? Cancel my other subscription box and I'm canceling my whole account and I'm never shopping with you again. What kind of freaking customer service, what kind of world is this? You can't return that. I don't understand. I hear Americans returning lipsticks. Oh, I don't like the color, you know? And they get to return it. We can't return a single freaking thing in this country. I don't understand. I'm just like, okay, fair enough. Not fair enough that I can't return it, but where's your act of goodwill? At least say to me, okay, look, we can't, can't take the box back, but we'll return you the money. Can't take the box back, but um, as an act of goodwill and to keep you as a, a loyal customer as you are, because I always shop from them, we'll give you um, a product of your choice or something that you liked in the box, we'll give you the full size of. Like, come on. You know, meet me half freaking way. I can't stand shit like that. It's like, oh, well, piss off then, because I'm not buying from you ever again. But side note, I love this hand cream so much. <laughs> then last but not least, I've got a snack. And oh my gosh, Larabar, Larabar, Larabar. I remember someone talking about these freaking Lara bars in America and I was like, oh my God, I want them so bad. And I'm on Amazon trying to like spend 50 quid to get these bars. Anyway, happened to be in Sainsbury's the other day and I see these freaking Lara bars and I'm like, oh my God. So this is the banana and chop chip. And what I like about these is they are one and a half dates, bananas, almond chop chips, gluten-free vegan, no added flavors, no added sugars. I love raw bars like this. I'm not a trail mix kind of person. I don't like um, those trekker bars. You know, there's, they're just almost like cereal bars full of oats and nuts and it's just too cereally. I eat porridge in the morning. I don't need any more of that. I like this because it's just like dried fruit, basically. It's, it's basically dates mashed up with almonds. It's kind of raw. Um, yeah. And then you've got, obviously you've got the, what is it? Almond butter? Yeah, the almonds. So you kind of get that kind of raw bar. I don't know how to describe it. I really, really like these. So this is something I like to keep in my bag or have with a cup of coffee, you know, when I want to be healthy. <laughs> when I want to stay away from the biscuits, bloody hell. But yes, they've got all the flavors. I've got to say, my Sainsbury's has got some really interesting things in there. You're like, hang on a minute. When did they get this? Like they've got all the American stuff, they've got all the world food stuff, love it. So I'm so happy that I've got these and I love them and I can have them with my cup of coffee, which is going cold. I also wanted to mention something else. <laughs> um, I really appreciate clean work people, don't you? Like I've just had, um, they're coming to fix my bathroom and the guy who comes and, and does it, I think he must, he's Eastern European or something. But he smells so clean, like his clothes, he smells of fresh laundry, like just when he walks in the door. And I thought, I, I thought, I really appreciate a clean workman. That's really, that is really nice to see, you know, because some people just don't give a shit. They think, oh, well, you know, I'm doing the building work and, you know, they smell of smoke or fried food or, worst of all, B.O. 
but this is like he smells clean like he's had a bath and he's washed his clothes and that someone who takes pride as a as a plumber or whatever you're doing even if you're a builder and you're on a messy work for, but someone who takes pride in their clothing and their their hygiene you know is going to take pride in their job do you know what i mean like and he's he's done an immaculate job in the bathroom and it just goes to show and i just thought i just wanted to appreciate you know appreciate a clean person because um, a lot of people aren't you know people just basic cleanliness don't get me started you know what i mean oh my god there's nothing worse you know you go to a restaurant and your you know waiter or whatever leans over with like a sweaty armpit like it's you know i used to work in the city and i used to have to travel on the dlr and on the tube and i used to have an absolute meltdown over bad hygiene like i literally used to lose my shit over it like i can't i couldn't stand it like seven in the morning you're on the train to work and somebody stinks like how do you stink at seven in the morning it's in, you know do you know what i mean like why why do you not and i honestly i wrote a letter to the mayor of london about um, putting up posters in public transport about hygiene and soap and washing under your arms and <laughs> I just oh I can't remember I never got a reply but do you know what I mean like come on basic hygiene it's it's anyway there you go that's my piece for today I hope you enjoyed this video um, I hope you enjoyed my favourites and. As you can tell, I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a good mood. Wow. It, you know, if you want, listen, if you want me to talk about things other than beauty on my channel, let me know. If you want me to talk about mental health, let me know. Um, anxiety, things like that, I'm all about it, okay? Uh, and maybe we can all help each other, you know, in the comments and just giving out advice and just, you know, helping each other. I think that's what, I think that's quite a nice thing to do. Anyway, enough with the rambling. You have a good day and I shall see you soon. Bye.